we started the google camera journey with the gcam 6.2 and gcam 6.3 and you guys loved it then we took it further to gcam 7.2 which was in itself pure software magic I and mean, it's it you just loved it and then we went further to show you how to master the best setting and that video blew up in this channel now the question now is how can the pure software magic get even better sit back and relax and i'll show you that in split second <laughs> Welcome back. We start by installing the new Gcam 7.2 and then we take the first image and see the first impression how it does. And the first thing we always do is to turn off the motion picture because it could make the camera crash. So once we've done that now, we're going to take the first picture and you're going to see the significant change in this new Gcam. I mean, the, the previous Gcam 7.2, you have to tweak it to get the best picture, but this one is point and shoot and you get the best quality picture. So we're going to check out what's new in this new version. If you're new here or this is the first time you're in our channel, please subscribe to our channel and help us grow. So let's go into it now. So one of the most critical new things that came in in this Gcam new version is very, very important configuration files so it means that you can save your configuration all your setting and everything save it even if the app crashes you can put a name you can put a change log and then you will now save the file the file is gcam you see the file uh, gcam slash config and then you save it there the good thing is that this file is preserved even if you uninstall the app so you have your configuration so you can also download other configuration from other people and then put it in so we're going to look at some other stuff that came in new here now the ISO exposure, ISO stroke exposure time for HDR is something else. So relax because we're going to give our own configuration and give you the best setting for this one. So you can do it for the back camera, for the front camera. You can set the ISO, you can set it to auto, you can set the shutter speed, the shutter time, how long the, the, the aperture can open and take picture. You could just, this is professional camera level coming into your phone software. You can even set the timing, the speed and all those stuff right now with this new gcam 7 uh, i'm gonna do a separate video for the advanced setting because it, it just can't go in here there is so much so much new thing happening in this new gcam so the next thing there is the lead patcher there is a uh, new stuff now coming in the lead patcher you also see the tone curve and then normally you go through the normal one we go through the sharpness we talked about before even in the last video you can check that in the description and then we talk about chroma nose but now there's a new setting also the wavelength and this one is very very important it has fine details you can set the fine details the luma the noise you can say how rough surface you can just tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak so make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're going to be bringing you the best settings and we're going to upload the configuration files here for you to just download install one click and then you are good to go so even the smoothness of surfaces there is so much new things in this uh lip patcher here and then there is then the, the the tone curve if you want to go into advanced things and set and turn around and give the best out of your picture okay so let's look at some other things that are very very interesting here in the tone curve so you can put the dark point the white point the shadow the highlights my god this is professional level uh the, to, time will fail us to explain all this in this video so make sure you subscribe because we're going to do a follow-up to this video where we go into details of all this advanced setting and what it can do so let's look at the improvements that they have brought in starting from night side so the night side in the previous version has been vastly improved so you can see the normal camera picture and then the night side it has been vastly improved so and you don't need any special setting for this one just connect and put on the night sight and then shoot and then if you think the night sight have been improved the astrophotography has even taken it a notch higher now this is normal camera which is like pure darkness and this is 26 seconds of astrophotography and then you can see that also the the, the quality uh, the, the sharpness the, the the astrophotography i didn't know they can take it higher and then the next thing that happened is that we can now take portrait images with objects in gcam i mean this is a first we've not been able to do that for a long time right now so thank you thank you google 
So let's look at the indoor shots. So the indoor shots now has improved. Now we're going to be looking at it from the camera preview and we're going to go into the pictures. So if you look at the indoor shots now, the, the color reproduction, the, the sharpness, uh, the HDR, this is by default, I've not even gone to you know tweak the settings or even make it better because you can still just take this to another level. You know, the dark uh, uh, low light shots also came out good um, as a conference center. Um, so a uh, conference room. So it, it, uh, I like taking that camera of picture of my <laughs> fire extinguisher. I like this. So the color reproduction is good, and this is just without any tweak, any setting. And then we took it to the harsher environment, and uh, we look at our front desk and other stuff. So we went out under the sun and under harsh environments. We took the pictures, and then we watched it. Uh, there is general improvement. When I mean improvement, you don't even need to do anything much this time around. All you just need to do is just shoot. You know shoot and point and shoot and the picture quality is good but relax because we are still going to take it to the next level when we're going to show you how to you know change the picture improve it with the settings and other stuff so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you really want to see that so these are the pictures uh, these are hash condition you can look at the hdr in this one it's very very improved we, we we're going to look at now the configuration files this configuration file is the best thing that has happened to photography since we moved from black and white to colored. Now you can go in, tweak all your setting, everything, every aspect, go to advanced setting, change things, turn things on, and everything you use, you know, just, just tweak everything. And then in one single click, you save it. And even if you format your phone, even if you uninstall the camera app, just bring it in, you can just go in and just, just one click and restore it. This is beautiful. No matter the setting, it will all of it and now the good thing is that also you can also share with your friend because we're going to upload a configuration file here that you could just download you know put it into the folder and then just one click and it will bring out all the best setting that we have we've put together over weeks and days and then you just gonna have it in your phone so just stick to the channel because we're gonna be loading up configuration files from time to time gcal forward slash config is where you see it in your internal storage so you can also type in the change log you know the things you want uh, to that you change inside the settings so if you're sharing with a friend they will know and then after that you just give it a name and then you save it and you are good to go so how do you restore a file a configuration file that you already have so what we do is the normal thing we're going to um, clear all data in this application and we're going to start afresh to do that so right now we're going to open the application um, after we've cleared every data it's just like installing it anew and make sure you that your configuration file is in gcam for, for slash configs and then once you're done you double tap on the uh, camera shutter side it is a configuration file we have you just select the one you want click restore and in one click you have everything back in one single click so this is the best thing that happened to camera i know a lot of you have been asking us question how do i do this how do i do that just relax make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're going to be loading especially in this video we're going to be loading different different better configuration that we took time and went in details and then we're going to put the change logs also so you just get the single file you download it put it in your internal memory in a folder called gcam forward slash configs and put it there so once you install the camera and once you're done installing the camera just click on it uh just double tap on that snapping area and it will ask you whether you want to restore the gcam configuration files and that'll be it so in conclusion there are lots of improvements i mean we we didn't just believe that there will be this level of improvement in something that's already magic that is already pure software magic so what do you think have you installed it? Did it work for your phone? Let us know in the comment section and let us know any challenge you have. We will be willing and glad to help you out. We're still going to be doing Gcam in, in a few weeks from now. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can see the next one we'll bring to you. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Subscribe. I'll see you.